Hey everyone, my name is Gandolin, and welcome to another World of Warcraft guide! Today I'll be showing you how to get the Underlight Angler, the fishing artifact weapon added in Legion. This is currently the most useful rod in the game, and has a lot of cool bonuses that make fishing easier. There are three requirements to unlock the Underlight Angler. First, you need to be level 110. Second, you need to have a base fishing skill of 800. And third, you need to complete the Bigger Fish to Fry achievement, which will take a significant amount of time to complete. You'll likely get to fishing level 800 as you work on it, so don't worry too much about your skill level. So let's take a look at this achievement. It asks you to catch all 18 rare fish in the Legion zones. Catching each one follows the same basic sequence of events. First, you have to fish up rare bait, which you then use to give yourself a short buff. This buff gives you a chance to catch the rare fish it is associated with. If you don't catch the rare fish before the buff expires, then you'll have to wait until you get another bait to try again. The catch rate of the rare fish is actually pretty high, so you should be able to get at least one within each buff window. Instead, it's the bait that has a low drop chance. Fishing in pools rather than open water will increase your chances of catching both the rare bait and fish, but there's something else you can do to help get bait. On the island floating northwest of Dalaran, there's an NPC named Conjurer Margos. With flying, it's trivial to reach him, but if you haven't finished Pathfinder yet, you can glide down to the island using items or abilities. You'll want to jump from the pet battle area located to the north of the Violet Citadel. Alternatively, you can fish up the Emblem of Margos from the green pools in the underbelly near the Black Market Auction House. This item is consumed on use and will teleport you to the island. Margos has various items for sale, including the Arcane Lure, which increases the chance that you'll find rare bait for 10 minutes. This is not required, but it does significantly cut down on the time it takes to complete the achievement. You'll need about 20 arcane lures, maybe more if you're unlucky. The currency to buy them is called Drowned Mana, which can only be obtained by fishing in the pool on Margos's retreat, at about a 25% drop rate. You can also sometimes loot the Mark of Aquos from this pool. When you use this item, it summons a water elemental for you to fight. Defeating him infuses the pool with mana, upping the drop chance of drowned mana to 100% for a few minutes. For this part, I suggest you use the group finder. In the pre-made groups tab, check the custom section for fishing groups. In large groups, there will be a lot more marks, meaning that you can fish up drowned mana a lot faster. Alright, with your arcane lures in hand, let's head out to each zone and talk about the rare fish there. Make sure you keep any extra rare bait you find, as they'll come in handy for leveling the artifact. First up is Azuna. To get the ghostly queenfish, you must loot the rusty queenfish brooch. Using this will let you see previously invisible schools of ghostly queenfish for 5 minutes. These pools never dissipate, and the drop chance is 100%, unlike most of the other rare fish. To get the Lay Shimmer Blenny, you first need to loot the Scrog Toenail. This will immediately give you a 2 minute buff that will spawn a Murloc when it expires. Kill the Murloc, and loot the Aromatic Murloc Slime. Using this bait will give you 2 minutes to catch a Lay Shimmer Blenny. To get the Narthalas Hermit, you have to loot the Pearlescent Conch. Using it will give you two minutes to loot the Hermit. Now on to Valshara. To get the Ancient Moss Gill, you have to loot a Rotten Fishbone. Use it, and then wait a moment for a Druid to show up and give you a Fishing Buff. Then you'll have two minutes to catch the Ancient Moss Gill. To get the Terror Fin, loot the Nightmare Nightcrawler. Using it gives you two minutes to catch the fish. To get the Thorned Flounder, loot the Drowned Thistle Leaf, use it, and catch the flounder within two minutes. Next is High Mountain. To get the Ancient High Mountain Salmon, first loot the Funky Sea Snail. This immediately gives you a two minute buff that will spawn a drog bar when it expires. 
Kill him and loot the salmon lure. Using it gives you two minutes to catch the ancient high mountain salmon. To get the cold river carp, loot the frost worm, use it, and catch the fish within two minutes. To get the mountain puffer, loot the swollen murloc egg. Using it spawns a baby murloc that gives you the two minute buff to catch the fish. Now for Stormheim. To get the gray belly lobster, loot the soggy drake scale. Using it will give you two minutes to fish up the lobster. To get the Udelfjusk, loot the ancient Vrykul ring. Using it will let you see previously invisible pools of Udelfjusk for five minutes. The pools never dissipate and have a 100% drop chance for the rare fish. To get the thundering storm ray, you need to loot the moose horn hook. This gives you a two minute buff to catch the silver scale minnow. Using that new bait will give you a two minute buff to catch the thundering storm ray. Next we have Suramar. To catch the magic eater frog, fish up the enchanted lure. Using it gives you two minutes to catch the frog. To get the seer spine puffer, you have to loot the sleeping murloc. When you use it, a murloc will spawn and run away, dropping fish as he does. Run over the fish to automatically loot the seer spine puffer. I recommend using the murloc away from water so it's easier to pick up the fish he drops. To get the tainted rune scale koi, loot the demonic detritus. Using it gives you two minutes to catch the fish. And finally, we have the ocean fish. To get these, you must be fishing in the schools of Black Barracuda along the coast of all Legion zones, or in the open waters of the Great Sea. If you're catching anything besides Black Barracuda or Silver Mackerel, then you're not in the right place. To get the ancient Black Barracuda, you have to loot the Decayed Whale Blubber. Use this item and wait a moment for a ravenous fly to show up. Click on the fly to loot it, and then use it to get your two minute buff to catch the barracuda. To get the axe fish, first loot the message in a beer bottle. Open it to get the axe fish lure, which gives you two minutes to catch it when used. Finally, to get the sea bottom squid, you need to loot the stunned angry shark. It expires in one minute, so use it right away. It will spawn a shark for you to kill. Be sure to stay away from its mouth as it flops around, or you'll take a lot of damage. You loot the squid directly from the shark. Now, if you haven't reached 800 fishing by this point, all those rare fish you looted should come in handy. Each one will give you five skill points when you use it, so keep farming them if you need more levels. Once you've satisfied all the requirements to get the angler, keep fishing. You should quickly loot the Luminous Pearl, which gives you a quest to go see Khadgar in Dalaran. He will send you to Marsha Chase, near the fountain. Once you turn the quest in there, Nat Pagel should show up. Relog if you don't see him after a few moments. The quest he gives sends you to complete a scenario, at the end of which you are awarded the Underlight Angler. Now, this is a full-blown artifact with traits and AP. To level it up, you use the Luminous Pearl at the Fountain. To get artifact power for the Angler, you need to continue to catch those rare fish while the rod is equipped. When you do, you'll get a different version of the rare fish that will award you with 50 AP instead of skill points. Again, you must catch them with the Angler or you'll only get the skill point version. The AP fish don't stack, so make sure you have lots of room in your bags. Unfortunately, these fish are not affected by artifact knowledge, so it will take over 7,000 of them to fully level the artifact. One of the best ways to farm AP is through the ghostly queenfish in Azuna, or the Udelfjusk in Stormheim. Since the pools never dissipate, you can get a bunch of fish each time you find the rare bait and continue to use any of the other rare bait you find, every little bit helps. There are also several traits that can help speed up your leveling, including the ones that give you a chance to fish up an entire pool in one cast, and the fact that the more traits you put into the weapon, the longer your baits will last. Some other notable traits are surface tension, which lets you walk on water, 
Underlight Blessing, which transforms you into a fish, granting increased swim speed and underwater breathing. And Way of the Flounder, which gives you a stealth effect when your line is cast. The Angler also gives you the Undercurrent ability when equipped, allowing you to teleport yourself to the nearest fishing node within 100 yards on a 5 minute cooldown. And that's it for my guide to the Underlight Angler. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions, or if you have suggestions for other guides. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, and of course, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.